Hey guys, welcome to another War Robots Guide with me, Ben, aka Kitty. So it seems like people really want to figure out best module combinations. And I guess some of you already figured it out. If so, good for you. Um, but is there a formula? A lot of people have been seeking for like a formula or advice. Um, but before we answer that question, let me ask you a question. What kind of cats are the best cats? So the answer to this question is that all cats are best. I mean, argumentatively, um, if you guys argue, all mo modules are great. Um, they, they each bring valuable ability to the table. So I definitely don't think there are formula for this because honestly, fun is very subjective. So definitely create your own beast. Um, maybe think about creating um, what you think is effective and try to match modules to your unique style. Be creative, emphasize on your uniqueness, uh, maybe troll a little bit. And if you're fairly new to the game and if you're still confused, then you're definitely in the right place. You're watching the right video. So definitely I'll explain the basics in this video, um, bro to bro, um, bro fist here. So before I get into this video, definitely understand that uh, this is very general. So please don't blast me even if you don't agree. So I've divided this video into two parts and first part I'll be talking about robots and modules. So we have the passive module and damage increase modules. We have thermo nuclear and uh, nuclear modules and defensive one we have a heavy armor kit and just the regular armor kit the gold ones are in gold uh, and lastly special ones uh, last stand and battleborn so the last two modules are definitely very interesting um, they're they're very new ideas that came in um, with the module update so damage increasing modules so i'm talking about thermonuclear reactor and nuclear reactor and ideally the more weapons you have the more you're going to benefit off this module so these three bots are definitely benefiting quite a bit off this module and since fury zeus is it has that 600 meter range a little bit of safe zone there with the three heavy slots so you can constantly output a lot of damage um, also raven it has four weapon slots and with a Columbus pin, you also have that 500 meter range and double jump, which is a very good defense mechanism. And you could be a very good support bot. And also with Spectre, but with Spectre, I guess it would work with many different weapons, especially Orkins, Taran, uh, Storm, even the close range ones, because uh, with, the, with this bot, um, it doesn't really have too much defense mechanism. So I guess um, really exploiting on that firepower would definitely be a good setup with this with these two modules. So let's look at these two defensive modules. Uh, they are heavy armor kit and armor kit. So ideally they would go very well with the tanky bots. So since tanky bots in the game have a role of withstanding a lot of firepower, so really emphasizing on their strength. Um, it really makes a whole another beast and I put these four bots here uh, invader falcon mender and bulwark but I guess it could vary a little bit from league to league on to another defensive module this is called battleborn and this actually is strictly good in beacon rush and free for all because as you respawn, you have a damage resistance, just like Falcon for 20 seconds. So if you're playing uh, Beacon Rush or Free For All, when you uh, you would actually use it to defend Beacon and sit on Beacon so that other enemies can't turn it. And um, so you would put it on Tanky Bots again. So it's very unique module. And last passive module. This is called Last Stand and um, when I first saw it, it awfully looked something like this. And definitely it looked like a donut to me when I first saw it. 
and um last stand without d is uh last stand yeah i'm giving away so many good ideas to the devs okay so let's talk about last stand so with last stand this you actually have a lot of advantage if you put it on your brawlers because most of your brawlers are going to take beacons they're always near beacons so um when you're invincible before you get destroyed that last couple seconds uh, could actually turn the beacon and change the game so it, i guess most will agree with me that it will be best on brawlers or beacon overtakers and part two is fairly short uh, i'll be talking about active modules and how they go well with certain bots and certain weapons so first one up is repair unit and the repair unit is so unique I, in my opinion this is probably the best uh the best active module out there out of all three um but that's also arguable as i said before so i put a lot of bots here because um essentially it's like having another bot another life of your bot that you're in you can um your health can reduce down to half and you can hide somewhere and then really heal yourself without um, any healing bots around so i put various kinds of robots around as an example but i think the ones that really rely on their hp are the robots that definitely benefit off the most uh definitely hellburner that explodes itself and then your own health goes down repair kit won't be able to repair that but um, any incoming damage will be repaired uh, invader falcon as well those uh, bots definitely rely on HP so these are the best uh, bots for this module but again um, it the, this module is very universal so on to the second one out of three active module. This one actually allows your weapon to lock enemies down just like lockdown shotguns. And um, I always thought these were, these went best with uh, weapons that have quite a bit of range and also uh, that hits really fast. Okay, last one. So are you having trouble with stealth bots? Is stealth bots making you very angry? Is this stealth sign ruining your life? Would you like to do this? Well then, um, you found the right module. It's called Quantum Radar. And it's finally here. It's been actually around since the update, but I just want to say that. Anyways, let's look into Quantum Radar. Okay, so who benefits off this uh, module? So on the left, we got the homing fan. So all the homing missiles actually benefit because while you're activating this uh, module, uh, you can actually hit stealth uh, robots. So they're actually, there's actually no point of being in stealth, which it makes sense because you're activating it for a certain amount of time. But with weapons like Vortex with one hit, it's definitely counter to stealth bots. Uh, before this module, we only had a uh, shotgun um, as a counter, so I'm kind of glad that it's here. So on the top, um, we got the energy fam. Energy weapons actually benefit off quantum radar. So a lot of the descent bots jump around and with the energy weapon, you're not likely to miss uh, shots with quantum radar. and. I, th I still think the flux benefits uh, more with the lockdown unit however it still benefits with this so I put this here and on the right bottom we have the grief fam uh, with their built-in weapons will definitely uh, be in use uh, for countering stealth bots and also with Ares uh, with quantum radar it would definitely be a great counter to the new robot called Aljun that's a dragon that's in, in air for 10 seconds while it's in stealth. So that was a basic guide with a module combination um, in this video. And uh, if you have any other advice, uh, leave it down in the comment section below so that other people can definitely benefit off your advice. And guys, I'll, I also have my own channel as well. So feel free to come, uh, link is probably gonna be in the description. 
I appreciate you guys watching. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.